हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार राजकृष्णा दिस साइड एंड लेट्स सॉल्व वन मोर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशंस वी हैव लीनियर हायर ऑर्डर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस आई हैव सॉल्व्ड मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ दिस टाइप यू कैन ऑलवेज वाच दैट इन द प्लेलिस्ट व्हिच आई मेड फॉर ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ओके सो कमिंग टू दिस प्रॉब्लम हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस इज ऑलरेडी इन अ वेरी गुड फॉर्म गुड फॉर्म इन सिंबॉलिक फॉर्म Uh, so it is in the form of capital D. So the first step which we are going to follow now is to write the auxiliary equation. How to write auxiliary equation? What we do is we replace this capital D by M. So this became M square and plus four. This is what we have inside bracket. the equate that equal to 0 so whatever is inside bracket if d is there in that so replace that d by m and equate that bracket to 0 solve it so m square equals to minus 4 so m equals to plus minus 2 iota fine so you can write your m1 as 0 plus 2 iota And your m two as zero minus two iota. Clearly, this is of this form a plus iota b, a minus iota b. So we know how to find complementary function in case this form exists. How we find complementary function? We write complementary function as e power a x a from this. C one cos b x plus C two sine b x. So use the same idea here again. So my complementary function will now look like here a is zero, so e power zero x. C one b here is two, so cos two x. Plus c two sine two x. Simplify it further because e power zero x is one. So you are going to get c one cos two x plus c two sine two x. This is the complementary fun uh, function we got. So half of our problem is solved. We also need to find particular integral. so for pi particular integral is nothing but 1 upon function of d so here function of d is d square plus 4 this will operate on whatever is in rhs in rhs i have sin 2x fine okay now how to find particular integral in case we have something like sin x or cos x whatever a is there in this case a is 2 so replace d square by minus of a square so a here is 2 so a square is 4 Minus of a square is minus four. Now, as you can see, this is a case of failure. What I mean by case of failure? Denominator is becoming zero, so it's a case of failure. So, what we do in this type of cases? We go back to this step and say. if you get case of failure go back to this step differentiate that function of d with respect to d and multiply by one x outside that operator so now in the next step i would say that your pi will be you multiply by one x but outside not inside the operator so outside i multiply by one x 
now 1 upon if you differentiate d square plus 4 with respect to t so derivative of d square is 2d derivative of 4 is 0 and this sign 2x as it is now we don't need to use this thing again because we know that 1 upon d is similar to integral with respect to x okay so your pi will be x and take this 2 also outside integral of sine 2x with respect to x x by 2 <laughs> integration of sine is minus of cos 2x and in integration we divide by whatever is the derivative of 2x so if you divide by derivative of 2x which is 2 okay so your pi finally becomes minus x cos 2x divided by 4 so you got your cf you got your pi final solution is always cf y equals to cf plus pi so y will be equal to cf is c1 cos 2x c2 sin 2x and here comes your pi which is minus x cos 2x divided by 4 this is your final answer so again it was easy just follow the steps which we have first find auxiliary equation or if it is not in symbolic form convert it to symbolic form that is in terms of d capital d and then the next step is find the uh, auxiliary equation solve it if it is real and distinct we have a different method if it's uh, complex we have a different method to find cf so find cf come to pi that is one upon function of d operating on rhs solve it if it's case of failure multiply by one of x outside differentiate denominator if again case of failure comes multiply by one more x again differentiate denominator and so on and then you get your pi and when you get your pi you got your cf final solution is y equals to cf plus pi so that's it your final answer is right in front of you so more, for more problem you can always visit the playlist which i have made ordinary differential equation Thanks for that uh, beautiful time you gave. Thanks again.